In this video, we'll be solving the Usico problem called sleepy cow sorting. So in this problem, Farmer John has his cows with their own IDs put into a list, and they're in some kind of random order. The point of this program is to try and put it into numerical order from least to greatest in the least possible steps. Now, the one problem that we have is inside of this program, only the first cow or the cow in front, this like in this case, one, is able to move. So let's say um, we're going to move cow one and we're going to move it all the way over to here. Great, so now that one's gone and is over here, we can start moving two. But before one's gone, we can't move two. Screen reset, okay. So now that we know only the first number can be moved, what can we do about this? Well, we know it has to move in order for the rest of them to move, and they need to move so that it can be from least to greatest. So now that we understand the problem, how are we going to solve it? Well, the first thing to note is when do we need to move an object? And we need to actually move the number when one number is bigger than another and is in front of that number. So let's see an example. Right here, I have the number 5. 5 is obviously bigger than 3, yet it's in front of 3. So we're going to have to move the 5 to behind the 3 because we want from least to greatest. So the, th the problem with this is 5 is the third number. It's after 1 and it's after 2. And we can only move the first cow, as you should remember. This means that we're going to have to move both 1 and 2 behind 5, or somewhere else at least. And then, after achieving that, we can move 5 over to behind 3. Yay! What can we do with this information? Well, since we know that 5 is greater than 3 and therefore must be behind 3, if 3 is smaller than 4, and they're in ascending order, then does that mean that we don't have to move 3 and 4? The answer to that is yes, we wouldn't need to move them. But, but of course, 1 and 2 are in ascending order too. But they can't also have to be moved, because 5 is behind them, and 5 is greater than 3 and 4. So, so we can start from the back, and we can find the most amount of ascending ordered numbers. So right here, we could start from 4, and we see, ooh, look, 3 is smaller than 4. So we move this pointer over to 3, and then right now our ascending order is 3 and 4. And then we go, oh wait, 5 is greater than 3. So 5 is not part of our ascending order. And we can split our list into two parts. One part that's probably going to be jumbled up and doesn't have any order, and the end that is going in ascending order from the front. This part we won't actually need to move because the ones in front, we can just insert them. So we could insert 5 in behind 4, 1 and 2 in front of 3. So now we got our algorithm. So now let's go get on to the actual coding. We're going to read in the input like any standard program. Now that we're done writing the input, we're going to set a variable called changes, which is literally the maximum number of changes needed for the program. And we're going to loop backwards through the cows. Over here, the double minus ones basically say we're going backward.
There we go. We're done with the base program. Now we're going to re put it out. And there we go. Right here I have the sample input, which is 41243. And I'm going to run the program. And there we go. Our output matches the sample output. Now it's time to put it in and test it. There we go. We got all the test cases right. Thanks for watching today's video.